and welcome to another Sultani tutorial. Today I'm breaking down my project Common Courtesy that I've done with Rico Act. Yeah! Common Courtesy was released few months ago on Never Say Die Records. The songwriting process started with an idea that Rico Act sent me. Based on his vocals, I wrote the entire song. The inspiration behind the melody came from Narcos TV series. Regardless of any trap beat with drums, I just came up with an idea of power rhythm guitars to be the element that is playing alongside Rico Act's vocal. The song starts with Rico Act's introduction. Let's listen. So tan in this motherfucker. You know the name by now. The realest in it. Yeah, yeah nigga. Alright, so as you can see, we have the words here and then we have EQ8, low cut and high cut, glue compressor. Then DSR to reduce sibilance. Then SPL Vitalizer Compressor. I really love this. It's my go-to plugin for vocal processing. I just boosted the process knob to 14. Then I have the delay here, which gets automated after this uh, introduction vocal. Then I have my fake intro that starts with a cassette tape. Let's listen. So our fake intro has this special reactor effect called VHS audio degree degradation suit. You see, I don't know how you spell that, okay? So I just put it on home movies uh, preset. Then I put another one for extra effects on VHS tape, the 90s. I automated when my instruments are basically playing here. Then I have vinyl distortion, which is Ableton stock effect to get the grid, to get the hums, to get the crackle noises and plus the vintage effect. For the melody, I have a real uh, bass guitar from Scarby Contact Library. Then piano. Then pad. Then my brass chords. My brass are made with Roland SRX brass VST. Then I have my crash symbol. My crash symbol is uh, from my splice pack. And to mention piano is from Noir library from native instruments. And the pad is from Omnisphere. Then I have my melody here. It gets separated by two layers. One is brass. As I explained, it's from Roland SRX library. Then I have my plucky kind of electric piano-ish sound. This is from Omnisphere as well, Omnisphere piano. Then after this fake intro part finishes, we have our wind chime and jiggles. And then a bongo fill. Then we get into first verse. Let's listen. Break away. Break away. Homies got endeavors, we don't never pretend We be dancing with the devil, but we never descend Told so, so my bitch to fuck whoever had my way with her friends They were hating high school, but now they loving my dick I keep a Tommy like O'Brien in case I get into trouble fuck, fuck a knife, I got some eyes so our intro is super simple. Instead of having that uh, trap beat with trap drums, I used uh, power guitars. It's here. The power guitars is made with Sonoscore Viking Cinematic Metal Guitar Library with contact. Let's listen. So I just uh, bounced it and chopped it here. And for processing, I just put some Fab Filter Pro MB. I compressed a bit of my meats. Then I have power guitar uh, fill here. 
It has auto filter, it gets automated, reverb and delay for more effect like here. Then I used mute guitars. It's, in the, it's from the same library, but different intonation, which is mute. I did some EQing, low mid cutting, this one. This is just a regular electric uh, muted guitar, uh, acoustic one, and this one, like this. These are my guitars for my intro. There is nothing special about them, just did a basic EQ as I explained earlier there is not much and in the group there is simple low cut simple high cut elixir limiter to prevent them from uh, distorting and then my sidechain which goes with my kick in terms of percussions in my intro I just have a normal kick that hits on the first bit of the bars let's listen just the hip hop kick i found it it suits the best there is not much percussions else than that and in terms of symbols we have a open hi-hat that hits with the kick and then i have my close hi-hats that are uh, frequency shifted and i faded the top so it doesn't clash with the kick or with the guitars in the second section there is again close hi-hats adding up All these percussions and cymbal samples are all from my splice packs, volume one and two. So for the second section of our intro, we have this bass guitar that gives more groove and drive into our intro. Now let's listen. For the process, I just cut the highs, as you can see, took some notches out. And then for the grouping, side chain as you can see with my kick and then in the group there is not much else then for the effects i have this um, vocal i would say breath sample someone that is panting breathing let's listen and then we have old high pad it's a pad from omnisphere that i just ran it through that vinyl distortion effect so it gets very old school This is for the effects section of my intro. So the vocal, as I explained, it came in different layers. So I made this one main layer. All my homies got endeavors, we don't never pretend. On the main layer that I made, I didn't put anything much. I made a stereo layer with left and right channels. All my homies got endeavors, we don't never pretend. We be dancing with the devil, but we never descend. So for the left and right channel, which is my stereo layer, I did some bass mono on 300 hertz. So basically 300 hertz and less on these layers or mono some basic low cut basic high cut glue compressor to stick them together and dsr to reduce any sibilance from rico acts vocal which with the main layer it sounds like this all my homies got endeavors we don't never pretend we be dancing with the devil then we have these ad libs too hey. whoa, 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 whoa. as you can see i have my pan panning automated for extra stereo effect. So on the ad libs, I just had a simple super widener that I made myself with Ableton delay. I just put the delay on 9.50 milliseconds and only my mids and high frequencies are affected and my low is mono. I did some pan correction as well. And then basic low cut, glue compressor to stick all the sections together and then DSR just for the sibilance. And then for the main stereo layers, when they get grouped together in the bus, I have glue compressor, they stick together. SPL Vitalizer, as I said, I love this plugin. I just boosted the drive and the process and then basic low cut, Fab Filter Pro MB. I compressed my meat, then Fab Filter Pro DS, DSR again to reduce the sibilance. You can use any DSR plugin, it works all the same. Then I have EQ8, just boosted a bit of my mid and then low cut and high cut. Then Valhalla delay for the delay of my vocals. I really love Valhalla delay because it's uh, old school. 
you know, I just put the error to pass and mode to tape and mix to 4.8% and it gives that old school texture to my sound. Then I have as well Valhalla Vintage, color 1980s, and the mode is ambience, a mix on 4.8% and decay on two seconds. I wanted to get that vintage old vibe into my vocals. So these are my intro vocals. They get processed again, basic low cut, and again, high compression, like high frequencies compression. Another reverb, saturator, just the drive on 3.30 dB and analog clip. Then EQ8, just a basic low cut. Then they group together again, then they become the entire Rico Act vocals. We go to our build up section from our intro. Now let's listen. <laughs> So the vocals are the same thing as I explained, it's just uh, in the same bus. Our guitar melody changes as well, it becomes like this. Three layers, one rhythm guitar. Acoustic and distortion electric lead guitar, it's with the white noise and bass layered together. This layer has a filter Pro Q3. It's a bandpass filter and then auto filter, just a basic high cut. Then they get grouped together, these two. And then again, just a small filter. Then they go to my build up guitar section. For drums, we have my build up drums, clap. Kick build, which gets uh, filtered. Then snare build, again, it has filter on it for cymbal groups i have power crash and on my side chain cymbals that are searching to the kick i have right and that's it for my build ups for percussion and cymbal then on the bass line side of it it's the simple bass guitar as i explained For the effects, I have my breath effects again here in the build. Then I have my risers. Let's listen. Just a basic riser. Then choir riser from Omnisphere. Choir notes repeating. On the same note which is D sharp or E flat. Low brass repeating low brass 2 repeating again the brasses are from metropolis arc 3 contact library we have our trumpet riser and this one my trumpet riser layers are from native instruments session horns pro then these are all the effects for this section and then we go to the drop section now let's listen you know the model, bitch, boy, My drop starts with this pre-drop. In order to make my vocal sounds uh, very unique, I just grabbed the word. I did this stutter effect, like a looping here. And then on the drum side, we have this wood percussions from Hevocity Ensemble Woods contact library. They get repeated throughout the song, like here. My drop arrangement starts with this guitar riff and then it changes here basically the same melody just changing notes for this drop guitar riff i just had this saturator i turned down by 1 db to reduce distortion i did some multiband compressor on low mids mids and highs then after the guitars are being played we have our basses that hit with drums and everything else like this then on the drum side for the drop i just have my drop kick and then my snare my snare is three parts first part is punch second part is body and third part is the tail they make my drop snare and then just the basic rhythmic flow with cymbals let's play together
nothing special, very super simple ride and crash uh, ensemble together. We have our bass line. My sub for the drop is from Mumbai Madness. So I just took out the, the sub we had, I resampled it, then I EQ'd it, just the high cut, low cut, uh, a bit of notches on the third harmony of my note to prevent any distortion throughout the song. Uh, so this is my sub. I did some resampling here with a pitch envelope. Let's go to our bass sections. The basses start with this sub kick bass. So this is a sub kick that has been distorted with camel fat. The sub kick has been made in serum. You can just take a normal kick as well. Then it goes through a distorted white noise. Distorted white noises are my habibis, you know, I love to use it and I, I will use it forever. I use it like 20 times in this project, like uh, any project. Then we have this call bass that starts. This call bass is few layers. The timbre is made with Ableton stock echo. The second layer is with white noise and the third layer is distorted sub bass with white noise. So I combined them all together and I consolidated. Then for the post-processing, I put this Fab Filter Pro Q3 here and I cut the notches overthrowing in the frequency spectrum. Then I have my distorted white noise again, but long one. Then there is this long Yoi bass. So this is a, just a simple serum with beat reducer or beat reduction. I have this vocal shot from Hush, which is from my sample pack volume two. Yeah. I just put it here. This is basically my call section. Yeah. Then here we have this scream growl. Yeah. This scream growl is made with Native Instruments Razor. Then for the post-processing, we have Saturator again, reduced down. Then we have our response base. So we had our call base. This is our response base. Our response base is the same as call base. So I changed the echo time in the Ableton stock echo to change the uh, pitch. So our pitch went higher. So this is how this pitch change has been created. Then we go to the bridge section. Let's listen to the bridge. We have this distorted white noise again. Then we have the breath loop that I explained earlier in the intro. Then this hey shot hey, hey, hey. just panned into right and pan into left for stereo purposes. In the effects section, we have white noise sweep. The stutter effect is sidechain if you hear that. So it's here. And then there is this down lift there. It's a white noise downlifter. They go through this bus and simple multiband compression and sidechain as I explained. So regarding the vocals, I again looped common word. Then the, the pitch goes high. This is how it was created. Then again, I have my simple super widener and some panning. Coming, 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 coming. And then it goes through the pre-drop word. But here at the end, I just made this stutter effect. Courtesy. This was the vocal then regarding the drums we just have this bridge snare it's a snare that i made myself i use it in different sections in the song for the cymbal group we just have my cover crash again super simple nothing special then we have our bass line which is a re space So it's a simple risk I made with serum, post-processed with filter, and then I have my utility gain, which is the sidechain as usual. Then we go to our second drop. Now let's listen to the second drop. So as you can hear, I have Rico X vocal in the drop. I made my own vocal shots and my own ad libs from his voice. Let's listen. Work, yeah, hey, yeah, work, yeah. And obviously the pitch is rising. I automated the pitch on there is this vocal shot as well. Work, yeah, hey, yeah, work, yeah, hey, yeah, work, yeah, hey, yeah. 
And then on the drop side, we have some elements from the first drop, like this distorted white noise or scream growl that is repeating. But the elements on the second drops starts with this drop to one shot. <laughs> same sub kick distorted sub kick uh, as you call it it repeats throughout the drop then we go to this rhythmic filler bass so this rhythmic filler bass is a serum plus band reject filter plus ableton stock corpus on tube mode plus uh, i made it plucky with ads star and at the end a low pass filter to be automated like here so the filter is getting automated from left to right. Then I have my hover bass patch. It's just an effect, just a simple rising patch. I made it with serum. Then I have my long bass higher pitch. Again, just an effect. If you want to know more, basically the concept is a coarse pitch that goes up and down. So vibrato, then you can automate the pitch band as well. This is how you make this kind of effects. So you can apply this to any of your sounds as you like. Then I have my main basses. Let's listen. So the first one, it's a Serum FM bass with com filter. And the second one is the one I used in Volscape in. Same thing, serum base post-processed with unfiltered audio, plus it was made with comp filter in the serum. I use both of them in my Valscape in project. And then at the end, I have distorted white nose shot. So then this is the second drop. Then it just repeats and repeats. Then we go to our second bridge and then we go to the breakdown. Now let's listen. <laughs> The second bridge is like the first bridge, but the difference is I had to find the way for a transition from a drop section to the break section. So I made this guitar FX. It has lots of reverb on it when I was creating it. So it was done with the same contact library. Then I have drums, wind chimes and jiggles. And my bongo. So the same thing that I used in my intro for the introduction to my intro. Then for my bass, I use this bridge Reese. So I grabbed Rico Axe vocal here and I looped it. And I basically brought it up. It is a pitch automation on his voice. And there is not much for post-processing. Then the second verse hits and the second verse is the same thing as the first verse in terms of processing and other things like ad-libs, the layers, etc. Same process. Now let's listen to the second break. Time at apartment, boy, but y'all don't know about that. I go ham for the get kicked out. This bitch ain't never gonna allow me back. Don't get no fuck. Most of the time I can't get in. Push me back. I'm like a car seat. I can't hit the club. I'm always strapped. Yeah. Fuck what you talking about? Don't speak of my name, but I walk it out. I keep the heat 300 degrees. I got burners like Waffle House. My section great. You not allowed. From section eight, I'm balling out. Oh, all my haters. So the second break is the same thing as the first break in terms of percussion, in terms of the um arrangement structure so in the second section here i added this old kettle voice and i made the sultani parts here let's listen day i toss them out boy garbage 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 day i garbage day all right, so our section, our key goes from D sharp minor, basically E flat minor to E flat Phrygian dominant or D sharp Phrygian dominant real quick. In terms of vocals, I grabbed Ricoax vocals, tossed them out boy, and then I put lots of delay and echo on the boy. And then it came out like this. I just put the loop here, plus the ad libs. Yeah, yeah. On the drum side, I made this wood percussion loop. One thing I forgot to mention that during the, the verses, I have this wood percussion here that hits. 
And then this TikTok glass percussion that I made my own self at home. We have this cowbell African bell section. Then we go to our sultani section part, which is here. I will solo this part and let you listen to it alone. Welcome, very nice. So it starts with light super saw. Just a tape stop. Then my lo-fi chords. I made my lo-fi chords in the post-processing with Ableton stock vinyl filter, vinyl distortion, whatever you call. And it went through retro color plugin. All these layers are done with Omnisphere, just to let you know. Then I have my effect my alien effect, then my trumpet, my trumpet is from Native Instruments Session Horns Pro Library, uh, my choir and string, they are from Omnisphere, both of them, my bright pad from Omnisphere again, and my lo-fi chord again. It's just the trumpet that I ran it through retro color plugin. Then from this section and the vocals of Rico Act, we go into our second build up. Let's listen. So basically I grabbed Native Instruments Session Horns Pro, Metropolis Arc 3 and 4, and the Omnisphere Choir to make this jazzy build. Now let's listen to the trumpets. My choirs are also layered with lo-fi lead and bass guitar. I just forgot to take them out. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit disorganized uh, here. Let's listen. So this is the melody. On the bass side, I have this sub. It's also from that real bass guitar. And then I have my build up drums, which is the same thing as the first build drums with this wood percussion loop, the fill, and the rest. Now let's listen to the third drum. Walk, call me courtesy. Walk. So my third drop starts with this fake drop. So it is a brass and this brass is a fake brass. I made it into serum. If you want to learn how to make brass in serum, please go to my real instruments tutorial on my YouTube channel. So this was done with the same procedure as my other tutorial that I explained. It is layered with distorted white noise here. Super low volume but it gives that texture into our brass. Then at the same time, we have our kick that hits. Then with the vocal shot of Rico saying fuck, we go to the main section of the third drop. So we have our distorted white noise, obviously. Then we have our laser zap. So this is a distorted white noise with kilohertz disperser, super simple. Then I have my bass filler. My bass filler is a basic serum FM patch. Then I have my laser. Same thing. It's just a white noise. And I, I guess I layered it with sine wave as well. Then I ran it through few instances of dispenser, this disperser. Yes. I ran it through few instant instances of disperser. Then this is how they became. And I layered them here. Then I have my zap bass. Then again, it's done with serum and kilohertz disperser plus lots of OTTs. Then I have my main wobble, main bass basically. 
So this is again serum patch plus kilohertz disperser plus lots of OTTs and overdrives. Then I bounced it, then I brought it here, then I EQ'd it, took out some notch, took out all the lows. Saturator, I bounced the drive back to minus one dB to prevent extra distortions. Again, EQ'd some highs. Then I put the bass mono on 500 Hertz. Then I shifted the frequency shifter fine by minus 38 Hertz. And again, I did some dynamic EQing to prevent any notches and any uh, unwanted frequencies. Then I have my siren bass. So this is another simple serum patch with FM as you can clearly hear the FM sounds in it. Uh, there is not much post-processing that went into it. I just bounced it as a long bass and I chopped it here with, uh, with my sidechain that hits. Then I have my rhythmic bass layers here on the second section. Let's listen. So this rhythmic bass layer is few sounds layered together. One of them that is the timbre or the wobbly sound. Second one is a sob and the third one is a sine wave and some noise plus, you know, that got distorted all together and it came out like this. I bounced it, then I brought it here and I did some EQ, taking out some notch. I did some utility bass mono and some frequency shifting for the fine tune. And that's how it was created. And then at the end, I have my robot noise, which is like this. This is a serum sound with unfiltered audio specs ups post-processing and it was a long bass that I chopped it here and it became like this. Then after this, there is not much going on. It repeats and then we go to the fourth drop. Now let's listen. You know the model, bitch, fuck coming courtesy. <laughs> The fourth drop, there is not much going on. I just have this work shots from Rico, vocal shots as well here. Work. Uh, uh, yeah. So these are the vocals, the processing on it. There is just not much, just the side chain itself. Then we have the sounds of third drop repeating in the fourth drop, such as distorted white noise, obviously, or this bass filler. It's just this one is a glitch. <laughs> that has been done with uh, unfiltered audio uh, plugins. I just like to distort and make glitches lo lots of time. Then my zap bass repeats. Then other than that, we have the new sounds. There is this glitch bass. So this was done in my sound design session with unfiltered audio stuff or here. Lots of OTT as well. Then I have this scream sine wave hover with serum reverb filter. Then I have this zap piece again. This is like my other zap, but I did some frequency shifting tweaking here. I did some EQ and then saturator just pushed back on the drive to prevent any distortion. And this is how it was done. Then I have distorted white noise again. Then I have my low mid bass long. It's just a sine wave but distorted. Then I have my other glitches. They are again from my sound design session with unfiltered audio products or like this. Then I again have my long scream hover. So then I have my robot long noise. So this is uh, made with massive. The post-processing has done with Ableton stock Redux. Then I just ran it through the EQ here, basic low cut and high cut. Then I have my rhythmic flow, which is the response to the first section. So this is the same metallic bass that I used in Vols Cave In. Let's listen alone. I made this metallic uh, part. It's just a simple bass, but super distorted and processed with unfiltered audio expect ops and the laser. Super simple. I created in a uh, serum. Then I just 
put this together and they go through a bus and in the bus there is this high cut a bit of low cut and extra low cut here so these bases make my fourth drop bases then they approach our outro our end of the song and in the outro we have this stab reverb i made it with that fake brass and then lots of reverb just a shot and then it became this and then i have my re-space that i made with surge vsd and then i post processed it and added reverb at the end so it gets a nice blend and nice finish then this is how the fourth drop ends and it ends the entire song for the ending i have these risers i have this brass reverse then I have this riser again. Very simple crash cymbal. Kick drum. So this is how the song ends. And when the song ends, I added this war whistle here. It's like there is a war going on. It gets faded. So this is my song common courtesy that I made with Rico Act. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I missed anything, you know, uh, you cannot do really anything but to suck my spiech. You go by, you will enjoy it. Please let me know if you like any of these uh, patches or sounds uh, to be recreated separately in a different project. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and please let me know what kind of tutorials are you looking forward to hear from me next. I hope you enjoy your day. And as long as you write good reviews, your families will be released. Enjoy and hafla.